Hello, Commissioner. I've just boarded the ferry back to the mainland. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've read reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medis. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. It sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh, well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait. All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for jails, we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, do you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figured we would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Less jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check the Woka off and move on. <laughs> Ow! Oh, what's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to sickbay! ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot's Kyushu, but I never planned on this. Agreed. I think we could all use a break right about now. Let's stop here. I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Fukuoka at last! Ready to make some nostalgia happen? Nostalgia? But this is our first time here. So this is Hakata Station, the gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama station here in Fukuoka? I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway, I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. Save that idea for tomorrow. Mako-chan's rest comes first. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Don't sweat it! First we grub down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it! Sophia, you know the drill! Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Wow, Sophia, you work fast! Okay, everyone, it's time for some R&R! &R. Oh, man! Oh, oh, 
have I been alive this long without Hokkaido Tonkotsu? I'm awed by the soup's creamy golden hue, specked with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, your uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. Could you, uh, blow on it? The feline tongue is sensitive. So you finally admit you're a cat. <laughs> Over ramen? Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Ooh, take mine too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? Better after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. I guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Got it. I'll locate the best venue there is. Yeah, I gotta say though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We ought to get our licenses. I believe Haru has one already. That is true, though I am pretty lacking in experience. But don't you worry, Mako-chan. If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Huh? Oh, uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Is something wrong, Makoto? You don't look so well. Uh, no, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap, we better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You'd think this was a ramen buffet. Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. For real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Senkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? All right. Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Uh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn. Of all the rotten luck, then what about a bullet train? Or, wait, can't you ask Akumura? Doesn't she have a license? All she'd have to do is take the San Yodo from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Wait, so he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effing punk! Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, be careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Hell yeah! Hey, how far is Kyoto from here? Roughly eight hours by highway. And we'll most likely make it by sundown. Bathroom break's done, seats comfy, snacks ready for consumption! Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs>
You know, Haru, you don't have to force yourself. Hmm. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. <sighs> you don't gotta be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> Haru? <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In fact, I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, so I've never really told you guys this. But the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel... Get ready to shift into overdrive! They're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, maybe I'll just keep working on the... What the hell? Whoa, speak of the devil. Uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were gonna die. I think we already did. My soul's barely tethered to my body. <laughs> Okay? My apologies, Haru, but I request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Meow. Gun is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Okumura, what happened? Um, I was just driving normally, I think. <sighs> Oh, the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very, uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Why, thank you, Mona-chan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss here. Then let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right, let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the Mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who we ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skinny bastard. Don't I know it. To think he'd turn up now of all times. No, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to Chief Cabinet Secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayoshi Shido supporter during the election last year. Did you say Shido? Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? Yeah, one hell of an evil asshole. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. So it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur. Quite often, too. Nice guess. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. Huh. Isn't the CEO of Medis the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. When 
Whenever Owada wants someone out of his way, he calls on Kanoe to take action. And the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. Now, it's too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe's the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? Mm. I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know, in order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. Everyone Owada associates with is a big-time elite, and Kanoe's the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else, either. Another thing, the people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is, meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka, with Konoe as its monarch. Though, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, right! We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up! I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. Uh, if it was when Haru was driving... Then we were likely too busy screaming for our lives. Hmm? Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Kunoe's the monarch or not. Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah, and from the look of it, not just the rank and file either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. <sighs> Most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? <sighs> you do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, it's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Right. If Kanoe really is a monarch, we can corner him into a confession. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Kanoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Kanoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking, so I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword, if I get the keyword, I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're gonna head up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? Now we gotta wait even more? Oh, you really want to complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? Gramps got us? Am, am I losing my mind? No way! We really get to stay here? It looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyo 
Seattle's fanciest hot spring hotel. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. 40,000 yen? To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. He did say he could expense it, but is he sure about that? I don't know, dude. I'd probably feel more at home in a jail. Well, we really owe Zenkichi a great big thank you. Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Just inside. Dang, I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. What do you think, Mako-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey. Guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. Why? Did I suggest something wrong? There's a lot that's wrong. If you're gonna go at all, go with me. Are we even allowed to have phones in the bath? There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fair! But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait here. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yogana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! What? I won't let that stop me. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. A veritable feast. First he cries, then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Nari. 